um, hello, I'm Teresa, and I am a CW series addicted. I would like to go back in time to 2011. When I had nothing to do at home, it was a Sunday afternoon, I was so bored that I turned in on the only channel that I had never watched in my life, called RTP1. So RTP1 is a Portuguese channel uh, created by the government and I usually don't particularly like it because to me they only have like documentaries and yeah, yeah, not the stuff that I like. So Sunday afternoon I have nothing to do, I turn in RTP1 and I see something that I actually like. It is this girl in a pink shirt and apparently there she's also in a party and I don't quite understand what's going on and without even realizing it I was watching the masquerade episode of season 2 of The Vampire Diaries. So there's this girl, I don't understand what's going, what's happening, like what the hell is going on here. So there's this girl wearing a pink shirt and apparently someone calls her Elena and the girl that looks exactly like her, she's at the party and she's wearing this black dress, red lipstick, really high, high heels. And there's this guy, <coughs> Damon, <coughs> who calls her Catherine. And I'm like, Catherine? Oh, okay, so the girl who's at the party is Catherine, and the girl who wears a pink shirt is Elena. Are they twins? Are like the good twin, evil twin? I don't know what's happening. And suddenly, I get myself like really addicted to the Vampire Diaries. And after I finished watching the episode, I go to the internet and see what the hell was that series. So I search quite a lot and after all I'm watching an episode of season 2, okay that's fine so let's watch the first uh, season but I couldn't find all the episodes online so the thing that I did was watch the pilot episode and then watch the um, first episode of the season 2 so I got like a really general idea of what was happening. And uh, then I couldn't ask for more because actually I started getting addicted to the Vampire Diaries in a really good season and a really good time when everyone like mentioned Elijah, every single character would be like <gasps> What's what where 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 is he? Elena? Elena, where are you? Elena? Elena, get over here! Get over here! And and let let let's 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 stay away from Elijah. It's, it's it's the best thing we could do right now. Yeah, we need to run away from Elijah. So then, um, because one evil doesn't come alone, only uh, we suddenly realize that Elijah has a brother, and his brother is Klaus, and that thing happens again. Uh, someone mentions Klaus and suddenly everyone's like <gasps> Where? Where is he? Where's Klaus? Where's Klaus? We can't give Alina to Klaus. We can't. We can't. He'll kill her. He'll kill Alina. It's it's really bad. It's really bad. Where, where, where's Alina? Where's Alina? I mean, we, we need to keep an eye on Alina because if Klaus shows up and she gets kidnapped then we won't get Alina back. Yeah? Okay, so let's all keep an eye on Elena. And don't mention Klaus, because Klaus is evil, and he can hear you. Yeah. And Klaus is like a really bad villain. He's one of the best villains that Vampire Diaries has ever seen. And first of all, we don't see him. We see his witches. And then we don't see him again. We see him in Alaric's body. And then we have this scene when uh, Catherine is kidnapped and then Alaric like goes back to be himself and he looks at Catherine absolutely confused and he's like, Alina? And then he passes out, lies on the floor, 
the book slash coffin slash I don't know what the hell that is even now opens and there we have it Joseph Morgan as Klaus Michelson and when 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 this is me fangirling by the way so when Klaus shows up we have like some really good lines for him like Ripa it's like it's the most British thing that a British could ever say but it needs to be Joseph Morgan to say it because because it's it's someone else and it's it's uh, it doesn't work it doesn't work like that sweetheart. So we have Klaus and he's like really bad and really evil and he kills on Jenna and there's like none happiness in the fandom right now because Klaus he's like really hot but he's really bad. So we don't know where we stand right now. So um, then we, he does like some really bad stuff, like turn Stephanie to a ripper, yeah, and um, and yeah, and that's how the season ends. So season two was really good season to start with, and then it came the DVDs of the first season in Portugal, and I was like, Mom, Dad, yeah. I'm gonna need that for my birthday and, and and Christmas and Easter and whatever else because I really need to see that. So I started watching Vampire Diaries without watching the first season and then I watched the first season and it yeah it's okay it's okay but, but it's like season two is still in my heart because that's when I started watching it and I think that I couldn't have started even, like even better because that episode and masquerade episode is like one of the best episodes that the series has and then we have season three and um how can i explain season three well the trailers and promos that they were sending to us fans on the internet they were actually really great and amazing and it's like Oh my god, I don't know about you, but I really love that scene when, that, that scene, no, that promo, when we have like Elena and the white cake and everybody's like, everyone wants a piece of her and there's temptation and seduction and everything, and it's like, it's a really good promo, I really loved it, and I think it's one of the best things that the CW has ever had, besides like, saying that season 2 is the year of the cat, because yeah that that we we see what you did there cw we we definitely do then we have like season three and the episode one is amazing i well i i don't live like in the same time zone so practically what i did was wake up on a friday morning at 6 a.m to watch the episode unfortunately i was really slow at the time getting ready to go to school so uh i only watched half of the episode in the morning that's how crazy i am that was how addicted I was already. Uh, so I am officially the first person to see the first scenes of the season 3 of A Vampire Diaries in my school. And that is like amazing. It's like the thrill that you have that you've seen it first before everyone else. So yeah, it's, it's really good and you should try it sometime. So then it comes episode 2 and then on episode 3 we know that they have another sibling, a sister, called Rebecca. And then I was like, uh, okay, so this is going to be good, bad, after all, they're all like a bunch of siblings, because we see a lots of coffins. So, uh, I was like, yeah, okay, so she has, they have a sister, okay, alright. And then we find out that it's Claire Holt. And I'm sorry, let's stop here for a moment, because I used to wake up in my childhood at 7 a.m. every Saturday to watch Claire Holt and Phoebe talking on H2O. So, when I see that it's Claire Holt, I'm like, oh my god, it's Claire, it's Claire, I, I'm, 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 I, I, it's like, oh my god, it's Claire, it's Claire, and she's Rebecca, and, 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 and she's on my, my, my first, my, my, my favorite series, and that's how I fangirled, like, a lot. So then we have episode 4 and yeah there was more Rebecca and after all she's always moody and she had an affair with Stefan. Who has it? I mean come on, besides Lexi, they all fell in love with Stefan. All of them. All of them. So, 
Uh, then we have like episode five, and episode five is that episode when 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 Stefan turns off his humanity and he fights Selena, and and I'm not happy with that episode because it was so epic. It was, yeah, it was so epic that it was bad. Sometimes I go back to that episode, and I'm like, oh, it feels, I can't. I can't, I can't, yeah, yeah, it, it's, uh, that episode is also one of the best, I think that season 3 has like, the best episodes ever, yeah, because they were really epic, because if season 2 was the year of the cat, season 3 was the year of the originals, so then we have like, pretty epic stuff, like there's this vampire who hunts other vampires, and he's Michael, after all, he's so badass and everything. And we find out that he's the father of the Michelson family. Because, of course, that family couldn't be any more dysfunctional than already is. So, then he dies. Yeah, he dies. And uh, I, I, well, I think that they didn't develop the character enough. But, yeah, okay. Uh, Rebecca is, like, sleeping. Yeah. And um, then we have, like, these thing with like hybrids and everything because Alina survived and after it was her blood that was necessary not her death and it's like um yeah it was yeah some really good episodes but let me go to like really straight ahead to episode 14 of season 3 and that is also an epic episode we have Ed Sheeran singing Give Me Love and we have Clarline feelings and we have Delena, Stelena, everything Elena, and it's uh, pretty epic. Also, you know, like, that the, we find out that Michelson family is a really big family. Like, they have the original witch, Esther. She's the mother. She's the one who created the vampirism. Um, we have Finn, like, the, 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 the bad guy. Well, he's the bad guy because right now class is not like our hearts and, and he's like inside our hearts and we, we we love him already so he's the bad guy because he's doing the good stuff. And then we have Elijah, yeah, then we have Cole and Cole is like the dearest Michelson brother that there ever exists. So, it's like, he, he, it's, it's Nate, it's Nate Pozolich, he, it's the actor basically, yeah. So, um, because when, when, yeah, because he is really sweet with fans and he interacts a lot with fans, so he became, like, really, really dear to fans, and fans really love him, and they don't want him to die or disappear, but that's what dear Julie Plank does. Season 4, yeah. So, but, yeah, that was one of the most epic episodes of uh, the third season, like, Ventures liaisons and that that episode is pretty epic I we have a really sweet Caroline Claroline Claroline moment when they're dancing and it's then they have the horse and ah Claroline Claroline and the thing about Claroline is that Caroline and Candice Akula she's the actress who plays Caroline I could ship her like with a bedside tale because she is shippable with everyone else. So we have like she dated Matt, but he's useless in the series, let's admit it. He's the only human in Mystic Falls, so well basically him yeah, he just tries to pay his bills and work and yeah, that's it. That's what humanity is like. And then we have Tyler and Nobody ships for wood, I'm sorry, but it's true. You can like for wood, but you never ship that hard. And then we have Klaus and Caroline, and he's like this villain, and she's this bright uh, vampire who carries like a halo or something like that, and she's absolutely shippable with everyone. So, uh, we, 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 we really start like shipping Caroline, and Everyone in this fandom ships Clarline. Like they can be like some like discrepancies, like fights and everything between fandoms, like Delena, Stelena, and yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, basically. But everyone, every Delena and every Stelena ships 
Clara line. Yeah, it's really nice. Season 3 is also pretty epic. I don't know if you ever realized that that season finale was amazing because Alaric turns into a vampire and he's a vampire conceived to kill all vampires and he's connected to Alina's humanity. So if Alina dies, Alaric dies. And that was a pretty emotional scene and Rebecca is like out of her mind because um, Alaric kills Klaus but I was actually like, I was like, mm, he didn't kill Klaus because then he closed the coffin and if fire doesn't have any air so the fire doesn't burn anything so I was like, yeah, okay, so he didn't die, he didn't, he didn't and um, Rebecca is like heartbroken and she goes crazy and she provokes an accident um, fortunately, she then buys uh, a truck for Matt because Matt can't afford another to buy a car because he just can't. He's worried about paying bills because he needs to live. So um, then we have like this beautiful scene when we have like a flashback uh, when Elena had her par when Elena had the accident with her parents and Stefan was there to save her and now he is there to save her too. But she is selfless and Elena decides that Matt should be saved first before her and what happens is that Elena dies. What happens is that Elena uh, turns into a vampire and we have the, that amazing season finale when Elena is lying on the table, the morgue, and it's not pretty. And then Stephanie is there like with his eyebrows and like yeah, frowning and everything, it's like really intense and Damon's like, where's Elena, what happened, what happened, where's Elena, Alaric died, I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's pretty emotional and then uh, Dr. Meredith Fell explains that when Elena was there, like in the previous episode, she um, she gave her some blood because she had a huge, huge concussion, concussion, yeah, well, she really had a, like a brain problem and so she gave some da some of them as blood to Elena to heal her. So, uh, it, yeah. And then she had the accident 24 hours after that. So, um, yeah. So uh, we know that Elena is going to turn into a vampire. Uh, so there she is, lying in the bed, in the bed, no, in the table, yeah. And then we suddenly have <gasps> any dance, the end of season three.